Hey guys, John Richards here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to be the best version of yourself. Yeah, I first heard Bedros Cullion talk about this, and it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks because I was really trying to figure out my purpose in life. <clears throat> and that's kind of it. How, you, how do you become the best version of yourself in all areas of your life over time? That should be, you should always be a work in progress, but there are areas that you really need to focus on. You know, so the first thing that I would do to, to you know, to be the ber best version of yourself is write a vision. You know, so what I've done is I have a five-year vision of what I'm shooting for. And the one thing written by Gary Keller, it talks about your someday goal. That's my someday goal. That's where I want to be, you know, someday is that that's, you know, that's my one thing. So that's something you need to do first is write a vision. What's that picture look like? But you write a vision, and, and this is something that I've really studied a lot, is you gotta, you got to write the vision if it's, as if it's already happened. You're already living that life. And really feel the emotion of that. And if that excites you, you you're pretty much right on target with your vision. And then once you've done that, then I come back, then I write a vision of what I want for this year. <clears throat> okay? Sorry about that. And then, then also a vision of what my next 12 weeks looks like. And I always do everything in 12-week runs. You know, I'm, I'm big on implementing what I learned. And I read The 12-Week Year by Brian Moran. And I use that process because it's an execution system. And it starts out with a vision. So here I've got a five-year vision, my someday goal. Now I'm back to a year. Now I'm back to 12 weeks out. And then I, you know, identify what i got to do from there. Now there are seven areas of your life that you really need to focus on. But I'm going to clarify that real quick. The seven areas... And they're kind of in order. Uh, one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm really living the one thing. It's, it's the top business book in the world right now. And I've learned so much from it. And if you live that book, you know, and focus on one thing at a time, it'll change your life. You know, so the seven areas are your spiritual life. First of all, if you don't have your spiritual life in line, you're going to be way off the mark. You know, so make sure, you know, you have and, and identify one thing in that. that you know, think big, but then... You know, think small. Get you know, take small actions toward it. Okay, and then physical health, personal life, relationships, job, business, and finances. Now, take one of those areas and whichever maybe you're struggling with the worst in, and everybody's got an area that they're just not got it together in. You know, and you focus on that, and you identify what your one thing is there. You know, and, and for me, it's like, you know, it's business, okay? You know, I, you know, if I, I know that if I can get my business life straight, you know, my financial situation will always be handled. You know, it'll, it'll give me more time to have for my spiritual health. It'll have, give me more time for my physical health. It's going to make my relationships better. You see what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, that one thing will make everything else easier or unnecessary, okay? You know, so what I do is I, I really focus in on that, you know, and I've identified, you know, that, you know, in the morning from 6 to 7.30, you know, I focus for that time on my one thing, which is my business life. Like right now, I'm doing a video. It's a little after 6 o'clock. You know, this is something that I do every week. I do three videos a week. You know, that's how you focus in on your, on your one thing. So right now, for the next 12 weeks, I'm focused on that area. Or I go, actually I go 66 days. So you want to focus on whatever area this is for 66 days and give yourself what I call 66 day challenge. And I focus on that. And then I look at where I'm at and then I decide if I need to go another 66 days or 12 weeks for me. You know, it's almost 14 if I look at a five day week. <clears throat> but it's 66 days. So if you work five days, you're going to be going five days a week, taking weekends off. So to get 66 days, you're almost at 14 weeks, right? So that's what you want to do. And so, you know, so how to be the best version of yourself, you know, the first thing you need to do is you need to write a vision, you know, where you want to be someday. In my case, it's five years out. And then I write a vision for where I want to be at the end of this year. And then I write a vision for where I want to be at the end of the next 12 weeks. And I bring it back to where I need to be at the end of this month and then the end of this week, and then today. And that's how I focus in. I focus small. I think big, but focus really small. It doesn't have to be big, giant things. Big, giant things, it doesn't take that to create an incredible life. It's just like Darren Hardy said in, 
in the insane productivity course I took. Small causes create huge results. Think about that. You know, there's a lot of really small things. If you did it, would change everything. And then just take those seven areas again. I'm going to give those to you again. Spiritual life, physical health, personal life, relationships, job, business, and then finances. Identify your one thing in each one. Make it small. What's one? What's your one thing? Man, if you did that, everything else in that area will be easier or unnecessary. You're looking for what they call the lead domino. Because if you did this, it's going to knock over another one, maybe more than one. It's really going to make some massive impact in your life. But then focus in, okay, what's one area I really need to focus on right now? And do that for 66 days. And then once you get to the end of the 66 days again, do a review, think about it. Okay, do I need to go another 66 days? Imagine if you did this for one thing at a time. You know, and you should have a one thing for your life. What's your one thing someday goal? What's your one thing, you know, one year goal? What's your one thing, you know, 12 week goal? And just really focus in and don't try to work on 14 different things. You know, focus on one thing at a time and really get good at that. You know, so create small habits. Once you've got the end of 66 days, then you can do something called habit stacking where you add another habit or you just go ahead and work on that habit again for the another 66 days. That's how you can become the best version of yourself. You got to have a plan, man. You can't just go out and, and go all over the place and well, I'm going to work on this for a while and work on this for a while. You'll never get anything. You got to do everything with intention. Okay? Now, guys, if you like this video, hey, do me a favor. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and tell me you liked it. Make sure you comment. Make sure you, you know, you share this. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, if you liked what I've shared on this video and you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe to my email list, my private email list. Just click the link above in the video or below in the description. That'll take you to a page where you need to put your name and your email address in. And then that'll take you to my private email list. And I'll, I'm going to send you some great content. I'll send you a free download on how you can get job quitting income in the next 30 to 90 days. Hey guys, go out and have an awesome day, but make sure to share this video with somebody that's really trying to change your life, that you know they're struggling. This can change your life, guys. If you don't focus too big and just really narrow it down and I see what I need to do today and just do that. Have a good day. Thank you.